thank you so much everyone for coming. Um, <laughs> it's like such a disgusting day. Uh, it's a huge feat to even get out of bed this morning. I know I'm pretty well all week, but uh, thank you so much for coming. I think it's kind of apt because the type of paint of the exhibition is everything smells different than it brings. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely does. It definitely does. Um, I can't believe as well, I just uh, realised this is uh, his fifth exhibition with us. Uh, so it's nearly 10 years. Uh, it started in 20 It is 10 years, exactly. Yeah, we're kind of So well done. <laughs> Thank you so much for sticking with us. Um, we're delighted this evening to have uh, one of our uh, stable of artists. Uh, we've got Eamon Coleman. Eamon will be having an exhibition here in the month of September. Um, and Eamon is amazing at, uh, he's a great teacher, uh, maybe that's the wrong word, but he knows a lot about art, he's obviously a fantastic artist, but he's very good, and he's very didactic, and he's a and he's very good. So um, I'm, I'm can't wait to hear <laughs> um, I can't wait to hear what he says about his painting. So thank you very much, Eamon, for doing it, and I hope you'll come back uh, in September when Eamon's show. Sure. Yeah. Well, first of all, well done, Eamon. It's amazing. Um, so I'm going to do something slightly different for this, this show. Um, first of all, in walking around the show, Leah comes from a, a, a real tradition of Irish landscape painting. And when, when I, I say that as a tradition of Irish landscape painting, I think Irish landscape painting is unique in Europe in that we are here perched on a small island right on the edge of Europe. We have, we have um, uh, occasionally our artists have managed to get off the, the, the island and gone, gone out and they've brought back ideas and they've been distilled and slowly but surely those ideas start, start moving through the generations. And if you, if you, if you think about um, uh, Connemara painting, for want of a better word, you think about people like Paul Henry. And then, and then you come to Leia and you see, see where is the influence of that? Where is that tradition moving through? And you start to look at Leia's um, use of the brush, her, her obvious influence with, with, I suppose, atmosphere, rather than just traditional landscape painting. So what I want you to do is, what I'd like everybody to do is, close your eyes. Everybody close their eyes. Imagine Leia's studio. This room perched on the edge of Connemara, where there is without doubt the wind in Connemara has a, a sound. The sound that is unique in, in to anywhere else on the whole of the island of Ireland. That sound if you think about it, it is blowing those bog greens, those moss greens, those bog pinks, heather pinks, and the, the maple yellows, the, the bog cotton. It is blowing all of those colors right into Leia's studio. Those colors are then coming into her imagination. And she then tries, and I, in my opinion, succeeds, in distilling that imaginative sense of the wind, the rain, the, 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 the atmospheric landscape, that, what I call the air between us and the mountain that we're looking at. That's what I think Leia has. And she, when, when, if, you think, if you think about that, you then start to look at the colors that she is achieving, on, especially on this new body of work which are, uh, for me, really exciting because the paint is looser than it has been, but also the palette is slowly but surely changing, and it's slowly but surely becoming much more of that, those, those moss greens, those bog pinks, you know, heather pinks that are, that are dark and moody. This is, not, this is not pretty painting, it's beautiful painting, and that is something that is very hard to achieve when you're painting a landscape. Because we're very afraid of beauty. We're not that afraid of prettiness. And beauty is something that we're kind of slightly in fear of. And, and you have, 
genuinely achieved something very beautiful. But also, there is a, a, a sense of, of, you know, when, while, while she's out walking the landscape and walking in, in all of that wind, all of that rain, all of that atmosphere is, is buffing her. And she comes back into the studio and uses that underpainting, building up layers and layers of paint. So these are not spontaneous paintings. These are paintings that have been worked on. And that, that, that is, that, again, that's a real gift, to be able to work on those paintings, create that fun.